the idea of technology mm -hmm. is, is not new, right? These things were technology yeah. at some point. Yeah. That was technology mm -hmm. at some point. This is kind of new technology, but everybody's kind of obsessed with this idea of technology and digital. It's like, it's kind of not new. We need to, you know, we've been through this kind of, you know, TV's going to kill radio, DTP's going to kill print, yeah. um, the internet's going to kill most things, and it didn't. And it's like all that we found now is that there's an appropriate place for certain ideas and certain executions. And the fact now is what we have with somewhat digital platforms is that they are actually part of the fabric of our lives. People use shopping, people use Facebook for certain things, people use Twitter for certain things. And let's just make sure that we um, suggest the appropriate thing for the job. And it's, it's really as simple as that. Clients look at what we believe digital and um, you know, outside traditional media as buzzwords, like we need a Facebook page or we need a, we need a website. Um, but they don't necessarily know why they're asking for that, they just need to have it. And so the goal is to take what we embrace and know and apply it to people, in some cases, that are so used to living in the world that they've created and, in, and allowing them to see what that world can bring to them. So it's kind of a twofold thing. I think agencies have done a really nice job embracing the power of the new technology it's just kind of translating that in ways that our clients can understand. In some agencies too, the the power is is uh, is on the technology, on the on the geek way to achieve the the things, and it's not not the right way for me. I mean, there's no doubt we're in, in my mind certainly the the most exciting time in the history of advertising. You know, it's just I mean, you can do anything and. and it's, it's impossible to predict what next year is going to look like or the year after. So I think it's it, it, what's what's more important than ever is the core of what we do, which is solving business problems with great ideas. Following on from that, increasingly, obviously, a reference to people who are kind of geeks within the industry. And I suppose teasing that out a little bit more is, you know, you could equally turn back, I suppose, to people who write 30-second spots and say they're script-writing geeks as much as you could have technology geeks. and. Uh, and then we see people like Virgin in North America having fun with it and they've just got a new plane that flies from uh, San Fran to Boston and it's, uh, its name is, is Nerdbird because famously a lot of technologists take that particular route. But how much of this do you see as being you know, the way forward for agencies and for creativity? Um, as a high school proclaimed geek, um, I embrace geeks and continue to surround myself with them because yep. otherwise I wouldn't have anyone to talk to so <laughs> um, but I, I think in a more general sense we, we, we embrace the idea of uh, t-shaped people so people that are generalists in some areas but then can dive down into others and we, we do want to surround ourselves with creative technologists that kind of live in their world but to us in some way the ideal employee is someone that can look at the bird's eye view but then has one special skill, one superpower that we can kind of tap into and so we always think of it as sort of finding that T-shaped person mm -hmm. that um, can, can kind of adapt to kind of what you said, the, the idea but also has a, a superpower that, that kind of makes them special whether it's a writer or a creative technologist or a digital expert or a decoder or however it works.